always talked about several hazards associated with this. So over the next half hour, and we're going to take you right through till noontime or so, we're going to break this down for you and keep you up to date as to what's happening, uh, where we are as far as transitioning from what's been going on to where we go this afternoon. Colleen Hurley joins me now. You've been here since 3 o'clock this morning, so oh, yeah. you've really been tracking all of these hazards. I mean, we had flooding, inland, high winds, mountain snow. Bring us up to date what's happened through the overnight to right where we are now. Well, we got up to reports of eight inches of snow in the mountains. There's people sliding off the road as expected. Wet, heavy snow, unfortunately, up there for us. The high winds we've been seeing. We've seen gusts over 50 miles an hour, even a 78 mile an hour gust in Cryhaven. The wind is starting to die down a little bit. Will be less of a concern as we go through the day. Inland flooding, we are seeing lots of road closures out there already. We're likely to see more and more of that as the day goes on. And coastal flooding, we're getting into that now. Water is already up. Uh, Moving ashore in Portland. Yeah, and this will, we've always had this at the top of the list as the biggest concern. Yeah. And I think what unfolds in the next hour or so is going to be the critical time period up and down the coastline. Once we get past noontime, yes, there's still going to be pounding waves, but things are going to be getting better, so to speak, because the high tide will be behind us. All right, let's begin to break it down for you. I want to get to the big wall here, and we're going to show you where the storm system is. Uh, big picture, the rain in and around the Portland area, points north, Lewiston, Auburn, Augusta, the midcoast. You've still got the rain coming down. But it does look as though we're almost to the end of the rain. Okay, you can see from Portland down south to Portsmouth, Boston, it's over. In fact, we're hearing reports of the sunshine breaking through the clouds in and around the New Hampshire coastline, the seacoast there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some sunshine during the afternoon. Meanwhile, you still have snow from the White Mountain National Forest up into the western Maine Mountains, up into the Moosehead Lake region, and now pushing up into northern portions of Aroostook County. So that's the overview. Here's the storm system. I said it's right on top of us, and it literally is. If you've got a barometer, check it right now. You're going to see it's pegged all the way to the left. This storm system has been drawing wind in off the coast. That's why we've had these very strong wind gusts this morning, pushing water in toward the coastline. And what you're looking at here is a moisture channel. It's a satellite picture that we use more in forecasting than we do when we're kind of showing the pretty pictures. But you can pick up the drier air, those darker shades. See how New Hampshire and right along the coast? And that drier air is beginning to wrap itself in. And of course, in doing so, we saw that rain come to an end. All right, going through the afternoon, here's where we see the rain continues to come to an end. There are your sunny breaks I'm talking about. Meanwhile, far northern areas do hang on to the snow. For more on the flooding situation, checking the radar, I want to turn it back over to Colleen. Well, we've got flood warnings up already across much of the area. You can see much of coastal Maine down the mid coast up into the capital region, all under a flood warning. Remember, a watch is when flooding could happen, but a warning means flooding is happening now. And of course, we're seeing several road closures there. Not surprising after an inch and a half to almost three inches of rain fell in some spots. And this flood warning will go until at least 3 p.m. Remember, like Roger was saying, even after the rain has ended, we could still see water levels rising. We're going to be dealing with the coastal flooding still as well. We have a flash flood warning rapidly rising water in these areas. New Gloucester over to Brunswick, Yarmouth, Wyndham, Gray, Gorham and the greater Portland area right now. So remember, turn around, don't drown. If you come across a flooded roadway, be sure to head the other way. Don't drive around any barriers. Someone does it every storm. We don't want anyone in harm's way here today. And the situation is going to get worse here before it gets better, likely. In Arundel, 2.8 inches of rain reported. Cumberland, almost 2 inches. Bowden 1.6 and same with the Litchfield area. So there is a lot of rain that has fallen through the night last night. The ground still partially frozen and very saturated. So all the rain that's fallen is just going right into the rivers and streams and trying to move out to sea. But at the same time, we've got a storm surge and a rising tide. Bad timing this storm with our highest tide of the month. And we're dealing with a foot to two and a half foot storm surge. So we are keeping a close eye on the rising water levels right now across the area. Area, and we are already in flood stage. We're already seeing those impacts in town and we'll take you there in just a couple of minutes. So let's get back over to Roger now who's going to time out the storm for us. Roger. All right, Colleen. Yeah, right now we're looking at the high tide coming in. This is probably the biggest factor. We talked about the coastal flood warning that it extends up and down the coastline, including the New Hampshire sea coast, all the way through the mid coast Penobscot Bay and points down east. Our high tide in Portland, I'm just giving you the Portland high tide because it's a good reference. I mean, if you're along the mid coast, you know whether you're 45 minutes or an hour ahead of or behind what the Portland tide is. Same story down along the south coast. So we'll use one point of reference, 1140 
41 this morning and we're expecting a surge of anywhere from a foot to maybe two feet which does put us into what's considered moderate or maybe even major coastal flooding. You're right on that borderline. Wind speeds right now we're pushing 15 miles per hour sustained in Portland, but it's those wind gusts are now 30 miles per hour. And if you look along the mid coast, you can see here the wind continues to have stronger impact along the coastline. And we've always talked about how the mid coast would bear the brunt of it. Let's check the water levels. OK, this is where we're actually looking at the tide gauge. Flood stage in Portland, I always reference it as 12 feet. So that's your number to compare to. Right now, the water level is at 12.85. So in downtown Portland, yes, we are above flood stage, and this number continues to rise very quickly. In Kittery, a little bit farther down the coast, we're looking at flood stage of 11, and right now we're at 10.91 inches. So that next high tide comes in at noontime, and then we may have some minor problems with the next one, but you can see it's just this tide that is the greatest concern.